Good morning. If you're a bad guy, it's a bad day when Jesus turns the question back on you. Why wouldn't Jesus answer their questions? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 11, verse 27 through 33. Then they came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him. And they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority to do these things? But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one question. Then answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say from men, they feared the people. For all counted John to have been a prophet indeed. So they answered and said to Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus answered and said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. So the temple authorities challenged Jesus about his authority. Now remember, within the last 48 hours or so, Jesus has cleansed the temple. So they're very awake and very concerned and very unhappy with him. So now they come and they challenge him. And Jesus immediately counter-challenges them. He says, okay, answer me this question and I'll answer your question. So the question's about the baptism of John. Is it from heaven or is it from men? And they don't really want to answer this question because, look, if they answer the question saying it's from heaven, then, then the logic means that they should accept Jesus. But if they answer the question saying, well, no, it's just a human thing, the consensus at that time was very much that John was a prophet. That was just the, the vast consensus around. And so they couldn't answer it that way because... Uh, that would infuriate the people. So they're caught between a rock and a hard place. Jesus knows all about it. Jesus already knows how they're going to react to this because he knows their character. He knows what kind of people they are. So they have a big discussion about how they're going to answer, and they come back to Jesus, and they say, well, we don't know. Then Jesus comes and says, well, very well. I will not answer your question then. So it's a standoff, but really Jesus is going to gain a lot here because He's showing that they are uh, dealing with things in terms of human politics or dealing with things in terms of human authority and, and they're calculating, they're putting their finger in the wind and they're calculating how the people, you know, how are the people going to respond. It's not about truth. It's all about power. And so that's, that's what they're doing. Jesus is all about truth. They're all about power. So he's got them over their own barrel, so to speak, on this one. They are waffling. But Jesus is meeting them where they are and defeating them right where they are with that kind of calculation. So his answer was really a masterpiece. His question was really a masterpiece because he could then answer them and say, well, neither then do I tell you by what authority I do these things. So this was uh, substantially weakening what, what religious authority they had left. Jesus weakened it dramatically here simply by causing them to reveal to the group, whoever was watching, who they really were with their waffly answer. Remember, we're coming toward the very end of Jesus' ministry, and these people are not uh, fair-minded. They're not on his... These people are looking to murder him. Uh, I mean, that's where they are. They have opportunities to repent, many opportunities to repent. They're not repenting. Instead, they're hardening and hardening and hardening. And so now Jesus does uh, diminish their spiritual authority by these direct, now, these direct interactions with them that are... Uh, forcing them to show their hand, show what they are made out of. And so Jesus cooks the waffles. And on that note, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you today for your watch care over our Lord Jesus in these intense interactions and the wisdom that you gave him, mighty wisdom indeed. Thank you, Lord, that it is part of your business to expose false religious authorities people who have turned against you and are actually people with murder in their hearts and they would murder Jesus if they can. And, and well, yes, we'll look at the scriptures just coming up and see what does happen. Lord, we want the truth. We always want the truth. And we want it, that in our hearts we'll want the truth. So help our hearts to want the truth. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Is your heart still tender? Is there still space for you to seek his will? I think there is because your waffles aren't cooked yet. God be with you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord Jesus.